Yeah, what's going on everyone? Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're playing some more Total War Warhammer. We're continuing here with our Dowie campaign and our fighting at every single freaking corner kind of situation. So, I've been thinking about this a lot. I think what we're going to have to do is I think we're just going to have to like leave this army up here and he's just going to have to win all the battles up there and just defend it himself. Same thing down here. I'm going to have to, once I kill this army, I think we're just going to have to like have him just basically defend. And we're going to have to use our dude and just start pushing forward because I really need to start just taking territory and just like expanding and more than that well a because it's going to give us more money so we can get more armies more troops but then b uh we can actually start hindering the uh, uh opponents now the biggest problem we have is the fact that Zuffbar is coming our way which is so freaking annoying so how close are we what if we <laughs> risk it all the entire game might hinge upon having him join war against Zuffbar 7.7. Uh, okay. I didn't think he would say no because it's like surely he wouldn't declare war on me, but um, we are losing a lot of relationship and my liabilities down low. That being said, we should still be pretty good friends and we should go back up north. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. that That's big. That's actually big here. So, then hopefully, if I can get this army to go murder you. That might save us from Zuffbar. So then I can focus on this army here, which we are basically 50-50 right now. Can I... I can grab you and I can grab you. So we can go do that, and then we can go fight this. And let's see what this looks like. So it's a Pyrrhic victory. We're actually not losing anything. Yeah, with all those gyrocopters, there's no way I could do as good as the AI resolve here. Because what would shoot these down? My gyrocopter and my pistolier? Yeah, those guys aren't going to last long. <laughs> so our only hope here would be to break the rest of this and have these guys uh, essentially... Because at that point, if all the ground troops are gone, the aerial troops either have to land or uh, they basically lose. And yeah, I think just having them shoot me nonstop, I do not think... Yeah, I just don't see that going well. So we're just going to auto-resolve it. And we didn't lose anything, so that's good. Do we want to take the replenishment? I don't think we need to. I think let's take the money and the oath gold because there was that one thing we wanted uh, with the oath gold. And then we can move you. Uh, we can move you back into Grimhold. Okay. And you got a level here, bud. What are we going to do with you? So, Rune of Slowness, we don't really care to upgrade. Uh, so probably we need lightning strike lightning strike is just so necessary I think on high levels because the AI tends to bring especially if we have a, um, a Force just kind of defending an area The AI is likely to bring two armies to take it so to lightning strike be able to kill one of those armies It just it's it's so necessary uh, Construction cross attraction or do we want to have a chance to you know, I'm actually gonna grab this Yeah, because we're dealing with the doors we're dealing with the trees being able to intercept the army, especially once he actually has a decent army, might not be the worst thing. And you know what? Let's go ahead and merge you. And we're going to merge you just to save a little bit of money here. So, okay, with that done, I can bring you all the way back over here. And get you, like, right adjacent to it. So if he attacks the city, we're going to join in. Now, who had the anti-orc rune? Remember we had a rune that was like super good against orcs. You cause fear. I'm going to take that off because I think we want it on Grotech. So Grotech doesn't have it. Who had it? Rune of fear. Does he already cause fear? Can I not give him a rune? Interesting. Huh. So who had the anti-orc thing? You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think it was a rune. Yeah, I don't know that it was a rune. Okay, I gotta give it to you. I think it was an item. Standard discipline. Uh, spell resistance, physical resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it this one? No. Rune of burning? No. Is this one. Groth one eye. Causes fear when fighting green skits. So, here's the thought. Apologies for the dog in the background. Um, we'll give you the banner of this. Wow. Holy crap, dude. 200% acceleration? <laughs> what? That's kind of insane. Uh, what do I not need right now for a turn? 
Uh, income from sacking settlements. Yeah, probably not that one. <laughs> but I'm going to give you the master eye here. So, because if he runs away, which I imagine he's going to do, because I can't imagine he wants to take this fight, we're going to want to chase him down, and we're going to want to lead the fight with you. So because of that, we're going to want the Gortek one eye on him. Now, he already causes fear and all that fun stuff. It gives a bonus of leadership. He already causes fear. So maybe I don't need it on him because he already does cause fear. But see, the thing is, he has that discourage effect, which is really, really great. And then he also has the leadership effect. And then... Assign non-character unit. Oh, you give it to a unit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it's a banner. So we can just give it to one of these other, like, mainline troops. And then they can cause fear and terror. And that's just going to break the... the because keep in mind, these guys have nothing when it comes to leadership. Uh, okay, actually, some of them are not bad. But they're... Eh, okay, they're not bad. Still, with the fear and the terror ticking, they're gonna they're gonna want to run a lot. Um, so you're level 50, so he is finally maxed out. So I think we definitely want the Bless just to give the armor for the Dwarf Warriors, Miners, Longbeards. I'm sure we're gonna have Longbeards. Probably going to keep at least some Dwarf Warriors in there. And then we'll take the melee attack. And then also, too, you know, we might need to, like, recruit some quick miners in our attacks. Because those are cheap and easy. Then our Thane over here. Spread control. Spread control. Our Hammer Fist. We don't want you. Don't need any of that. You know, we'll take the Grudge because we're about to fight the Orcs. You actually don't have the Ancestral Grudge. Belly and I already gave it to you guys. To both of you? Yes. Yeah, they already had it. Um, and yeah, I'll give it to you as well. Get the bonus weapon strength. It's fine. Nothing major. Okay, Garrison Lord not moved. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could recruit here, but eh. Why is it green? I don't know. Yeah, actually, I don't know. So I don't care about you that uh, not moving. I don't think I want to spend money, because we might need to buy some units next turn. We might also, and actually, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get walls here in Gristle Valley. Hopefully, 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 these guys help us. So we're going to have to see. Outpost available. I don't think I care. Does the outpost give you extra allegiance? Passive income. I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does. Passive income. Allied Slowly increases. Can be increased by completing missions. That's what I thought. Do I have any missions, real quick? Uh, actually, defeating this army will help us here with Karun. Also, the other thing is, I don't remember if you guys are here, but the army that was down here, I don't remember if I said this in the last episode because a couple days ago, but yeah, whatever army we're going to take from them no longer exists. So I don't know if it was this army and they just bumped up the amount of crap they have or if it died. <laughs> so, uh, great times, of great times, great times. All right, intern. Let's see if Golden Order can come and save our butts for, like, the 14th time. Like, seriously, we would have died a hundred times if it not for the Golden Order at this point. But, admittedly, we took, like, one of the hardest campaigns. Number one. Number two, we got probably the absolute worst potential in-game scenario to trigger pretty early, right as we were about to start pushing. So, you know, we've been a little on the unlucky side. Just throwing that out there. Like, I... Only thing that would have made this more difficult. Oh, he's going for Festus. Nice. Double army. Good. <laughs> he lost. Oh my god. <laughs> Two of you won. Dude, Cass is so overpowered right now against like traditional empire. Yes! Yes! Zuffbar! Ha! Ah, okay, so Zuffbar's dead. Freaking Golden Order. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Oh, I love you. And he's still more powerful than me, despite just having to fight two freaking full stack armies. But whatever. Actually, it was like a half a stack and a full stack. Okay, so our flanks are once again, well, about to be safe once they kill off the orcs. And we're going to have to take the other territory, but, you know, we'll get there. <laughs> and then more dwarves come, because why not? Uh, wait, what? You're attacking me? Um, all right. Spell resistant, physical resistance. I wonder I wonder if I can cheese this and like do this 
No. Actually, if I put you on him, and then I put you on him, does he cause fear by default? I don't remember. No. Then maybe? Uh, I don't know I want to fight this battle, though. It's a lot of freaking orcs, man. It's a lot of freaking orcs. And the problem is... We're fighting... I mean, I could just have my goon squad probably just hold the day till everyone gets here. Wait, they all do magical damage? Wait, wh why do they all do... Okay, no, that's horrible. They all do magical damage. Oh, these guys also have Sunder Armor. Oh, that's horrible. That means my Thanes are worthless against this army, do they? No. So why do they do magic damage? Um... Does he have an ability that just gives his whole army? Spells, abilities... Passive abilities, resilience, war paint, physical resistance, miscast, physical spell resistance. Yeah, he must have some physical ability then that gives his whole army magical damage. That is horrifying. Ooh, is it something up here maybe? Enables magical attacks. That's just for him though. Hero recruit for shamans. No. I wonder if I can steal one of these. I'm just going to auto resolve that because that sounds horrible, man. And he also has the artillery to match me. Yeah, we're just gonna auto resolve. I'll, I'll take my losses. Uh, we lost another guy there. I mean, it saves us some money. And really, what? Two of these guys were. Actually, no. Those are my default long beards. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Eh, it's okay. Uh, we can get our oath gold. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. So with that oath gold now, we can buy the what was it? The weapon we need, I think. So good. Don't know where he's going. Um, they should be able to take his territory now, theoretically, right? Since Grom has nothing and just that tiny little army and he's running away and his home territory is just wide open for the taking game. Did they take it? Actually, nope, nope, still Grom. It looks like he had another one over here too. And they're chasing him down. Nope, nope, that's a hero. Take freaking massive! <laughs> I can send an army over there and take it myself. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Kark Nom. Sorry, Norn. I like calling him Nom, though. Kark Nom. And let's see if Zuffbar sent another army my way. <laughs> Although, admittedly, I don't think he has much left. So. Empire is definitely struggling. So, we got a armor. Plus 20. Not bad. Belgar got physical resistance plus 10%. Not bad. So anytime you kill an enemy lord, you get a boost. Uh, Lorin died. I think Lorin was the one that was up in here, right? Yeah. They were right here. I can't believe they double stacked and lost to this Festus army. And they got a lot of heroes. So that's that's unfortunate. What was going on over here? Uh, okay, so just um, chaos. Just your normal chaos. So why is this not being taken? Give me one sec. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're not taking that. That's kind of annoying. But that's fine. Uh, ambushers, Festus, don't really care. So, what does our army look like now? You're kind of crap. Wondering. He's got a wog going over here, but... Unless he, like, does raiding and stuff like that, I don't think he can actually increase it. Um, so I'm thinking about just taking you... God, we're not gaining any of these dudes back. Like, um, any HP back. We could go ahead and recruit a couple miners there. Might have to be what we do. Then we'll level up our Thanes, because remember, our big guy is now maxed. Um, and what do we want to do here? I guess we're just going to go speed. Literally everything else is maxed out. Uh, specialist. Yeah, see, it doesn't help. Assault units, I'm probably not going to do. We could do... I guess I'll do assassinate and then I'll do Whoa, relentless on you. Actually, I probably should have swapped them, but whatever. Uh, and then this is our shooter. He, I don't really care about wound block army. I mean, maybe block army might be worth it. I'll just, I'll do the charge bonus, whatever. And then probably the same thing here, right? Cleanse corruption, just on the off chance. Sure. Okay. Uh, wait, we still have another level in there? Oh, he had two levels. Nice. Double cleanse corruption. Oh, and we have new armor. Ooh, 
Ooh, get yeah, wow, we have a lot to do. So we want to go move over here. Can we take it? We cannot get there this turn. That is fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here. We're at 15 and 20. Honestly, probably still more than enough to take mana core Madaroka. Madaroka. Um and we will probably do some law uh, some global recruitment here. Let's come back on that and figure out what we're doing. Then I am going to take you down. I want to stay within our borders. Let's go merge you guys up because we're about to buy some more. Put you guys here. Question is, do you think he can get there next turn? I think he can. I'm thinking he can. And I'm just going to grab... Say three. I could grab four. Let's say three for now. Because they don't have crap for the garrison. Actually, I take that back. The garrison's a little bit better than I thought. All right, take all four. And hopefully then maybe I can get a, another dude next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're going to go throw you then in Gristle Valley. I need to get the walls going in Gristle Valley. Please. We... We got to be careful here because I don't want to run out of money. Because we're probably going to go negative next turn. I don't really want to do long beards. Got it. They're all so expensive. I'm tempted just to not recruit anything. It's going to be basically our goon squad against the city walls and the garrison. That's actually kind of a decent garrison too. So do we take our time? I kind of hate it. Yeah, I kind of hate the idea of just taking our time. We could grab some Empire troops. Get some shielded anti-large charge foes. I mean, we don't really need the anti-large. So probably just, actually these guys are cheaper. They're not really much difference. Uh, these guys have better weapon strength. But less defense. But way better attack. Honestly, though, that's not really... I would rather have just better defense. Yeah, I'd rather have the better defense. I'm just wondering... How aggressive we need to be. Let's be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. And we're really hoping that we can grab a regiment next turn, I suppose. Um, money... Honestly, actually won't go negative now that I think about it. Because we're grabbing four miners. They're at 125 piece, so that's going to be uh, 500. So we'll still be positive a little over 100. And is there anything that we can do? We can get some more tools. Eh. I need Verdonis back, man. So I can really get the income going. And obviously, I would love to grab the rest of this, but that's not ever going to happen. Okay, so we now have enough Oath Gold. What was it? Was it a weapon we were looking at? The Chilling Aura? Was it that? That doesn't seem that amazing. I thought there was something better. Expert Charge Defense. Uh, Iron Ward Shield actually damages in 10% for every unit. If they have less than 50% HP. Not bad. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, No. I could have sworn there was a purple one we were looking at. Could have sworn there was a purple thing we were looking at that we were like, oh my god. Oh, I need 300. Ooh, dude, being able to summon ancestral spirits would be amazing. Yeah, and the bombards too. Oof. Yeah, I think we saved for the 300. Discourage is the only thing here. I mean, this is fine, but eh. Also, I love how the weapon gives you melee defense. <laughs> I would rather have the Starbreaker. The other thing is we still need to get our unique crap too, which is like, ah. Um, and then, I mean, we're not close on here. Cause terror, we don't necessarily need. Physical resistance, sure, whatever. Uh, then do I want to swap the, oh, that's the other thing. I need to go swap you back. So get the master gone. Um, your armor's better, so I'm not going to worry about that. 
Ancillary powder maker for recruitment costs. Prospector income from sacking. Probably not going to be sacking, just to be straight up. But we'll do it just in case. So then go grow our tech, and you're going to go back to. Oh, we could give him the banner of swiftness. That's what we should do. Uh, boom. Prospector banner of swiftness. Okay, good. So then we have armor. Who needs that armor? Probably our Thane. This is our awesome Thane. So we're going to give you the better armor. Uh, and actually, this is going to make him harder to hit. Yeah, because remember, he has super physical resistance. Um, and now he also has a lot of armor, too. So he's going to reduce any kind of damage taken. Does armor reduce? Yeah, defense determines whether or not you get hit. Then armor reduces the damage. So even if he takes a hit, it's going to be reduced, which is not bad. Does everyone else have the armor or do I need to throw it on someone? You need an armor. So where is that one? Boom. You can take the spell shield. Does he even do anything? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, we're not gonna upgrade, we're not gonna do outposts. We will go next turn. And hopefully we can win a couple battles next turn. You know, I should have double checked. It'll probably be better this turn. See how the golden order is feeling. Hopefully it's going up again, our opinion or their opinion. And unfortunately, we had a tanker rep, which is going to just be annoying because no one's going to want to be friendly with me for a while. But no one knew, at least. I don't think it's going to cause anyone to break with me, though. Dude, Reichland is crap. <laughs> we're, we're like four times stronger than Reichland. That's not good. We need the Golden Order to um, essentially confederate Reichland at this point. Yeah. Although, then again... <sighs> The problem is, I just, we need Festus not to keep pushing. Because, ah, crap. He got a full stack. How much do you want to bet it's a bunch of miners? Okay, thank God, he's going back. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be a bunch of miners. I almost want to turn these guys off now. <laughs> he's still running. Run, Grom! Run! Unfortunately, I don't want them to catch it, because as soon as they catch Grom, then he can, like, in, like, what, three turns, he'll be able to rebuild himself and rebuild an army, and then we're back to where we were. Where if they just take the friggin' territory, then Grom, may, they don't have to chase Grom down, because he's just gonna slowly die. But whatever. Um, I love how that elves exist outside the freaking uh, forest, which is kind of just hilarious. Karun, Karun. Oh, yeah. I think we had a mission with them to kill the orcs, right? So they should be a little happier with us. I wonder if we can run an army. Unfortunately, we might get trapped by him. I don't know what we'd do with his army. Yeah. The Zuppar didn't move. That's good. Good. And then these are the traps. Only down to almost 100 now. Faction destroyed. Oh, uh, what? On my mail shirt, if I am to return with a tale of your deeds. Trouble brews in the distance. Feels like the doom I deserve. Oh, Grotech left. That's what happened. Oh, that kind of actually really sucks. Because this army is no longer great. More than that, we're paying a lot more in uh, uh, upkeep. F. Crap. All right. Um. Well then. This means one thing, and that means I guess a trade off, a handoff, especially since he's here now. Uh, is that his king? No, that's not his king. Zorvik, I need to get you to tier two. Hmm. A little worried about income now. Yeah, this is a little unfortunate that our income just kind of went trash. Was not expecting to lose those guys. I knew at some point we were going to. Did not realize it was going to be right now. Uh, we got the field engineer, missile resistance for artillery units. Eh, I mean, it's fine. Reduced corruption. Longbeards. Cheaper weapon strength for dwarf units with hand weapons. And mining picks. Okay. I'll take it. 
Also get another 10% speed. Woo! <laughs> uh, we could go raid. I don't know that's going to help me. So I think I got to bring him back. You know what really sucks? I also need him over here so I can get all the bonus money. Yeah. So let's go here. Setting forth. And he's not gaining a lot of HP, but I'll definitely be able to reach you next turn. Um, and I think it's okay. We're only losing like 900, which isn't that big of a deal. Then I want to get a couple more units in here. I'd like to give some units that actually have some HP. We lost our gunners, so we might as well take it. Uh, 18. Do I want another catapult? Seems like a lot of catapults. Just give me the miners. I got the boost on the miners anyways. So, a little cheaper on upkeep costs. And then, yeah, you're going to go sit in here. And essentially, your goal is to defend against that. So, here's the big question. Do we do this? I need to get that upgraded so I can get walls there. I mean, I say that. I suppose I don't necessarily need walls there. Well, we could build two makers there. Like, if we're going to keep pushing, I guess I don't need walls there. Yeah, Verdonis has money. Uh, yeah, like, this is like, what, an extra 200 gold plus another 120? So we're missing... We're missing out like three, four hundred gold. Plus, then we can do the you know additional gold tube. So, yes. meh. What is the province looking like right now? Plus twelve. Okay, that's good. I, I can't build anything right now. Um, hey, guess what? You're about done with walls. So, hopefully, that means we're gonna stop getting attacked. Okay. Good. 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 Um, negative six on the control. Oh well. I just don't know what to do. I mean, I would love to go kill these guys, but. What's going to keep happening is probably the same thing. He's just going to keep building up armies, and then we're going to be like, hi, and kill him, and go from there. Uh, that's what we should be doing. We should be checking out everyone friendly. Uh, so real quick, Empire. Where are you at? Empire. Golden Order. Dropping. So the threats stay there. Okay, so it only drops a couple per turn, um, and the threat's reducing. So we're probably going to end up at like 140-something eventually which isn't end of the world uh no one's gonna do a quick deal with me yeah not with not with our reputation being crap war coordination we can recruit an army again it's a very tiny army might not be horrible though for us hey you actually have troops actually you know what you always had troops the thing i was thinking about is we're 32 here. Mm, I really want this army. Oh my god, with the pox arrows too? Ugh. I think the thing I was thinking about is the fact that I can't uh, build an outpost there and get crap. You're at 51, so Carcassonne, we can almost get this army. You have Treekin? Interesting. I, I want this army just to go take that <laughs> and trash it. Uh, Reiklin hates us, and yeah. It's going to be a while before we can get Bruno again. How much are we gaining per turn, too? No missions either, which is kind of annoying. All right, let's do it. Uh, was it you? No, it was knights. Okay. We got an army. And I need you to get in the water, buddy. And if we can grab some treasure along the way, not the worst idea. Go grab that. And... Yeah, we'll have to see. Question is, are we going to go this way or do we go this way? It's actually a good question. I don't know. Might be better going the bad lines. It might be. The orcs will be probably easier to take. Uh, Knights of Arago is actually in one of these. That's unfortunate. But he's probably going to lose it. So that's not so bad. Oh, someone said that there was a really awesome building tree. Uh, Where? Wasn't Skaven bright? Someone mentioned that like there's a really cool building tree in one of the capitals, or like an awesome unique building. So it's not here. Just the dock. 
And apparently you use Oath Gold to recruit the uh, the dinos that I was looking at earlier, which is kind of hilarious. You spend money to buy them, which kind of seems fitting. Landmark here. Pirates current. Spices, Elven trinkets. Okay. Smithy's Tavern. Ooh. All right. Yeah, both of those are good. I don't know if that's what they were talking about. Yeah, I think we already went through everything. Honestly, also could have been a area that we have not taken yet. Like, Kirk Nam. Although that isn't... Not, I thought this used to be a point here. Point of interest. I wonder if because it's no longer um mine, that's no longer a point of interest. Or because my ally has it. Eventually we're going to buy it from him. We only get like a couple thousand, but I'm probably thinking it's going to be like 10, 15,000 or something like that, which eventually money should be okay. But, you know, we'll see. The other thing is he could lose it via rebellion or dwarves, and then we just go take it back. So anything like that. I mean, I do want the money, but no, I'm not going into war again. <laughs> I can't take more wars. Let her Eichland. You just need to, like, turtle right now, Reich. That's... Eh, okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, using Franz is probably good. I, I think Franz probably could have beaten Festus if he was in that. Because it was a two-to-one. Oh, interesting. He ended up recreating... One of the Empire accounts. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how his campaign works. If he has Elector accounts, if he has to deal with them. Uh, what happened? Did he go underground to get close to me? Which if he did, we're just going to come back, blow him up, and then move that way again. Like, same kind of normal crap. Okay, I don't think I care about Iron Brow anymore. Until he randomly appears in my territory. That is the downside here of going to the Badlands, is we would be closer to him. <laughs> he just going in circles. Ah! Leave Grom alone and kill his territory, man. God, the AI. Yeah, I don't know how you'd program the AI. Make them more likely to take territories. Like, the thing is, AI is usually pretty good at, like, hey, I'm not going to steal a territory here because your army is within range of me, and uh, I know I'm smart enough to know that if I do that, you're just going to kill me as soon as I take the territory. So they're generally pretty good with that. But in situations like this, it's like, t t t take it. And the funny thing is I even asked them to take it. And they're like, sure, we'll go do it next year. Some point. Um, ooh, I need the control. Fudge. All right, that puts money in a bad spot. Okay. A little bit of bonus money. Probably okay. We got Beastmen over here, currently raiding the dwarves. Not the worst. And... It's a minor settlement battle. I think we should be okay? Decisive. Okay, good. Good. I was really scared that this wasn't going to be a decisive victory. Uh, we might as well give you the resistance. I actually don't know what his resistance is, but... And then someone Strider. Speed. What's Wayfair do? Wayfair? Is that the bonus speed? I'm wondering about putting it on my thing. Make him super fast. We could also, you know, put it on the cab. That wouldn't be bad either. I mean, it doesn't really matter here. So, okay, good. We finally, finally are good again. Just occupy. Problem secured, and we're still in the negatives, which is very unfortunate, but hey, could be worse. Could be worse. So, take you, and yeah, we're going to send you up and over. Well, maybe I go merge up here and start pushing this way. I think we do. I think that's what we do. Now the question remains, how are we gonna pay for all this? <laughs> uh, 
can't merge. I could sell, like, the gyrocopters. And the grumbler. Like, these guys are expensive. Yeah, we're paying 405 on you. And the gyro is, like, five, five something. So I ditched both of those and we're in the positive. Do we do that? Walls in two turns. Oh, my God. Is anything about to finish? I don't think so. Man, I hate it, but I think we have to. You're about to finish. That's not my territory. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, so now. Five turns. Zorvac is... You. Yeah, you're only... Ugh, only a stone cutter. Ironically enough, I should sell this and instead grab the uh, tool maker for now and then get this, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. So, we're just going to kick these guys out because I have you. I should probably be able to grab one of these other guys and we just, we can't afford it right now. And we're only making positive five, but that's going to go up here. Okay. And he might come down, but once again, I'm just going to have to buy the unit. Go murder him. That's the point. Unassigned skill points. Uh, dude, my guy's here just leveling nonstop. I don't know why. Relentless. Uh, relentless. Yeah, I'm going to change plays on you because I don't want you to do the assassinating. Um, and then, oh, hey. Our other dude. Oh, yeah, this is our new dude. <sighs> once again, probably want to go lightning strike down here. But I need... Wish we could get something to make more money. I mean, what we need here is the Inquiring Mine to lower the upkeep. But I think I have to take the full play. Eh, I mean, is that 120? You know, screw it. Let's do blue. We'll do blue. Construction costs. That's fine, because you're just going to be defending here. So, commandment available. Uh, make me money, please. Okay, in turn. We got to wrap this episode up here, but we could get to the next turn. So, still 107, so it's like three turns with no one dying. <laughs> high elves are being high elves. We're actually almost as strong as them. Hmm. Last defenders are pretty weak. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good compared to most of the world. Other than like a couple of the big boys. We sh haven't actually looked. I should look in the diplomacy options and see what our strength rank is. You want to have a high strength rank. Because if you're more powerful than the enemy, they're very unlikely to declare war on you. So... Dude, golden order, man. Spreading. Oh, are you going for Drakenhof? Ooh. All right. Actually, you know what? He's probably not going for Drakenhof. He's probably going for Zuffbar. Which, fine by me. I think that's their only province. So. And it, once I get walls... <sighs> question is, if I get walls in both um, here and then the other town, if I can just abandon that. If I can take my army and, like, move it elsewhere. Eh, I want. Yeah, see, he's going to go back and take it. Or he's going to go back home. Maybe if he goes in Garrison's home, they'll actually seat it down. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. One can hope. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We could get an alliance of elfin men here to destroy the evil, evil uh, greenskins. Would not hate that. No, I'm not joining your war. Although 1500 is interesting. I mean, 1500 means I could pay for something. For a war that probably isn't going to affect me. Could upgrade a building. Oh, hey, good look. Zuffbar. But, once again, as long as he's still at war with what's-his-name, we should be okay. And honestly, we have the walls finishing, so we're going to be fine. Crystal Valley's great. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Safeguard. Although, taking 300... Ah, you know what? I actually should have taken the money. Yeah, I should have. I think. We're going to go here. Revenge incarnate. We're not at war with you. Oh, no, we are. It's a crap army, though. Billiga. Actually, a little better than I thought. Which, we got to remember that, you know, we do have a couple miners in here now. Our army's not what it used to be. Still can't see what his army is, so that's fine. 
Um, and he's still building up. Like, how can a one province dude actually own all of this? Like, he has three armies right now. You know how much upkeep that is? My god, dude. Oh, that's annoying. And he's still at war over here, so that's good. That's good. How is Drakenhof? Drakenhof is actually being sieged down right now. And it's about to fall to the dwarves. Huh. And, ah! Wow, the dwarves are actually about to finish off the vampires over here. He's not at war with the dwarves either. I am. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to, like, uh, convince him to join my war again. Because that would not be fun. I'm you're literally nothing to do. No. Is that all we're gonna do right now? I'm gonna go raid, that's about it. Uh no, actually I still have you. That's right. Please don't be a battle. Campaign should be speed boost, I would hope. Ah, fifteen hundred too. Nice. And lower uh upkeep, although I think it's for his army, which doesn't actually help. <laughs> but you know, you know. Am I worried about him coming into the sea and killing me? No. So then we're going to get you up here and we should be able to uh, tag team over here next turn. Because he's got more than enough speed. I want to leave him in town though, just to get a little bit more HP back. And now with 2,900... I need to upgrade you. I'm not going to worry about that right now. No. We'll be okay. That's only giving me an extra 50, where we could get an extra 100 here. We already have toolmakers here, so that's not super important. I would love to get this to tier 4, but, you know. we got to be able to live a little bit. I could go get some more Tusk here. The other thing is, I think it does help your trade, so I think you do make slightly more in trade income, but... Eh. Tilia. Tools. So it's like all we can basically do is tools right now. So I think, if anything, we want to upgrade here, right? Because control's been fairly good. Yeah. Give me the extra 100. And we're going to live with that. And we are so close. God, we just need to win like a battle or two. Um, yeah, let's wrap this episode up here, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, come to your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.